What about making your sound better? Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Alan Tukmar Chef, and today we have a really kind of exciting topic, at least for me. I'm going to be checking out some effects, some sweeps. Um, we're going to be looking at some atmospheric sounds and things that really kind of fill in the gaps in your tracks. Now, what I have in front of you right here is my track called Creepy Man. It's from my Megapolitan EP. You should check it out if you want to. But anyway, now we're going to be kind of checking out this track right here and kind of breaking down the sounds that I used to fill in those gaps that I was talking about. This track is not really EDM based, so I won't really show you how to make uh, the music that you maybe want to make, but uh, that's not the point. This track is kind of here for you to examine in terms of those atmospheric sounds and those little crashes and sweeps and stuff like that. So let me just kind of start off from the beginning over right here. Now, we're going to be checking out several sounds that I use here to create the vibe. So for example, let me just play you this intro without these atmospheric sounds in here. And uh, then I'm going to play it with, and you'll see a huge difference. Right? And now if I add in those vocal chops right here. As you can see, immediately there's just kind of a more fuller environment going on, if that makes sense, you know. So what I have over here is just pretty much a vocal chop. Moving with the filter. And this is pretty much my own recorded voice and uh, I kind of chopped it up, pitched it up, and as you can see, it's maximum pitch, and uh, added several effects on here, like EQ, distortion, reverb, multiband compression, filter for the intro, delay, and limiter for sidechain. So I added in those effects, and that's why I got that sound that I wanted. So let's just take a listen one more time, just the vocals. Then I also want to kind of show you this sound, this sample right here. Pay careful attention to this part. Now stuff like that, little fillers in there will really make a difference. Now this is not an actual fill it like a drum fill but this is a little vocal fill in here and again that is also my recorded voice and if you're into recording stuff then you should definitely check out the previous lesson that i made in that lesson i go full on how to record your own sounds and how to you know edit them and stuff like that so check out the previous lesson if you want to learn how to record stuff vocal filler guy over there throughout the whole intro section, this vocal chop melody is kind of playing on and off to create that vibe, if you know what I mean. Listen here. And then also things like little loops here and there really make a difference and that will also create the space so I have this kind of jazzy sweep layered with the beat. And if we check out all these progressions,
really all over the place you know it's just it's not complex it's just kind of random in a way you know and that's what creates that full feel to it i think and yeah let's move on to you know the moment we've been waiting for and these are the sweep ups sweep downs you know impacts now this track like i said it's not really edm so i didn't really use um you know actual kind of hard impact sounds and noise sweeps this track i wanted to have more of a natural feel to it you know and so i used a lot of uh realistic sounds so in this example an alternative sound to a noise sweep up would be a reverse crash for example so we got crash over here And yeah, I also had a really huge delay to it as well. So that's kind of the sweep version uh, of EDM music, only I interpreted this into this kind of hip hop track. And there's also a question, why do we need to use these type of sounds in the first place, like sweep up, sweep downs, um, you know, crashes, impacts, um, why are they necessary? Well, first of all, they kind of create this sort of tension and they create this sort of vibe where the listener understands that the next section of the song is about to begin. You know, so for example, we got eight bars of intro over here and then begins the verse, I guess. I mean, I don't have any lyrics here, but this would be the verse. So this sweep up and this crash and this kind of sweep down, let's just say, creates that, you know, little tension over here where it gives the listener uh, a signal that the next part of the song is about to begin, you know, and that's why we would use these type of impact sweeps and stuff like that in the first place, you know. So, for example, if you're dealing with a buildup, you always want to have some sort of sweeps, you know, some drum loops going on and uh, some snare percussions or stuff like that, and that would really kind of create this huge feeling to it. You know, because buildups are all about that kind of tension, you know. Of course, in this track, there's not that much tension, but it just creates that, like, slight, slight tension, you know, that gives the listener a signal that, okay, so next part is going to begin. And, yeah, these crashes kind of go throughout the whole track over here. Like, for example, before the chorus. actually layered two crashes on top of each other so have one crash and the second one now this as you can see is the same crash as this one only this is actually reversed right and this is just a normal crash now the reason why I just didn't keep like that because this right here sounds really the same you know and this extra crash kind of creates a feel to it where this is like a completely separate instrument. You know, and that's how I layer my uh, crashes usually. And at some points, as you can see, I have one crash. So for example, this double crash is kind of put in places where it's really important, you know, where it's really necessary to have a double crash. But this single crash is just kind of, you know, there just to kind of give that impact type of feeling to it. There you go, guys. That's pretty much, you know, your basics of sweeps, sweep downs, you know, impact sounds, building up tension. So hopefully you found this helpful like usual. And yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.